morning friends happy wednesday today is november 23rd i've officially been at my job for one year today which i completely forgot about at first huh funny um year has gone by really really quick and yeah um i don't know that, that i love this job but i love the guys i work with and so they definitely make me like want to stay you know Plus, it was really freaking hard, as you guys recall, if you have been following me for a while, to find a job when we moved two years ago. So, yeah, we moved two years ago and it took me one entire year to find a job. Um, insane. I did find random jobs uh, where I did not last because they were not really what I was looking for. This is the job I was looking for and it took me a year to find it. Um... So anyways, I'm headed to work. My husband um, works tonight to prepare for Black Friday. So he goes in basically when I get off, so I will not be seeing him today. So he agreed to take my son to uh, daycare because it's always a nice break when I don't have to get up and rush out the door with Caden because he likes to sleep in. Of course, this morning though, he got up by himself and he was in the living room playing on the Wii. Um, when I was about to leave, I was like, I didn't even know he was up. I thought he was still in bed. Little stinker. Um, so I was like, hun, your kid's up. You gotta get up with him. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a, like a nice little like mom vacation almost to not have to get, uh, get Caden up and fight with him and get him dressed and get out the door with him and then have to drop him off. It like saves me like 15-20 minutes in the morning which isn't that much of time but when you're always running late like I am that is a, a good chunk of time. Um, so yeah I headed to work. I completely failed this week as I have no food plans at all. Um, I do have eggs at work still. I did not eat breakfast yesterday. I failed again. Um, I do have actually, uh, so I have that for breakfast if, if I want. And then I do have uh, the last bowl of my um, Emily Bites Butternut Squash Soup in the uh, fridge at work that I actually grabbed on my lunch yesterday from the freezer at my house. I just never got around to eating it. So um, I didn't really eat lunch yesterday either, which I know is terrible. It's just... Um, this time of the year and like work right now everything is just so crazy I just like am rushing around I feel like there's no time for anything let alone eating um, but I know that I feel like that was probably part of my issue last week because I did this a few times last week which is not good I don't do it on purpose but it's like by the time I realize oh I haven't eaten lunch or I haven't eaten breakfast I look at the time and it's time for the next meal so I'm like oh I'll just eat in a few minutes anyway um, it's like a vicious cycle um, Oh, and as if you watched my HelloFresh video, um, I said I was going to make a video f about the recipes and how difficult I thought they were and if I liked how they taste and stuff. Well, there was a bit of a fail. Um, I only had made the one meal, which was the steak meal, which was still ridiculous in points, like 17 points, I think. Um, which was pretty good. I like the steak, <laughs> but the uh, mixture... It was couscous, which I've never had couscous before. Kind of strange. It's like pasta, but like little like balls of pasta. Very interesting. Um, that was, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Um, definitely not worth 17 points. I don't know what was worth it all. Maybe the pasta or the couscous or whatever. I have no idea. Um, so, but that wasn't too hard to make. It was just making sure you didn't overcook anything because you kind of had a few things going at once. Um, as for the other two meals, which was this tortellini, all gratin, and then this um, pork chops, I failed because I didn't realize it's, yesterday was one week since I got the box. So I was like, okay, I figured with my husband being so picky and my son, I would make both both of those meals last night maybe have the pork and the veggies and have the pasta as kind of like a side I don't really know uh, the moment I opened the pork chops though it smelled so bad they went bad 
within seven days of me receiving them, they went bad. Um, and I don't know, some of you might be like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'm not used to that. And maybe because I don't buy organic food, because I ain't got it like that. Um, I've never had meat go bad that fast. Um, I knew I'd be pushing it, but I didn't like, wow, it smelled bad. Like I've never had meat go bad. Um, and uh, yeah. So needless to say, that was kind of a fail on my part. I had to throw those away. I did wind up making the potatoes and the broccoli that I came with in the, in the oven. I roasted those. So I put those in a bowl. So I'll probably have those as part of my dinner tonight because those were good. Um, and then I did make the tortellini. I kind of did my own thing with it. I mean, for the most part, I followed the recipe, but because I knew my husband and son would probably wind up eating leftovers or something, or my husband eating the leftovers today, uh, cause I did try a couple bites of it just to see what it tastes like. Um, cause I don't think I've ever made tortellini before. <laughs> Not that I'm saying it's Weight Watchers friendly cause it's like 20, I think for that recipe it was 24 points for a serving. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I kind of used my own sauce versus the crushed tomatoes they gave me and I left out all the spinach which was supposed to go in it only because my husband was eating it. I also left out the onion that you're supposed to chop up and put in it. Um, but my husband did like it. It is pretty good. So I made that and I have that in the fridge too. So I definitely won't be repurchasing HelloFresh for just a few reasons. One, it's way too expensive. For three meals for one week, it's the normal price is $70 or $69. And um, not that I thought the recipes were difficult, but I can see where um, I have friends who told me that it just, it was too much for them to do in a, a busy work night, uh, work slash school night. If you, they had uh, extracurricular activities with the kids or if they had homework to help with or any sort of event or anything like that, especially, it was way too much to do. Even though it didn't, it only took like a half an hour to prepare, it was still like, I feel like I was like all over the place because I do not follow recipes. I suck at following recipes, you guys know that. Like if I make a cook with me video, I always like do my little disclaimer of, these are not exact measurements. You can do it however you want because I have learned, um, my dad's a really good cook. My grandmother's a good cook. Um, I used to love watching Food Network and Rachel Ray was like my idol. <laughs> um, but I learned growing up that, you know, in order to make a good meal, you don't have to measure everything. When you're baking, it's like science. So you definitely have to measure each ingredient um, specifically according to the recipe unless you're like trying to make up your own recipe but when you're cooking you just you just do it to taste you do what you feel tastes good and that's kind of how I cook and I I consider myself a pretty dang good cook and it's very 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 hard for me to follow a recipe so I kind of struggled with that a bit um, I was kind of all over the place because they want you to do a few things at once which I don't have a very good attention span, so I can only focus, like really focus on one thing at a time. So that was kind of a, not a problem, it was just kind of difficult for me to do. Um, and I can imagine, you know, Caden likes to come and run into the kitchen and like hang on my leg and sit on my feet and headbutt me and not headbutt me meanly, but like headbutt me like, like, I don't know how to describe it. He'll like lay his head on me or lay his head on my butt, like, because that's he's three and that's what they do. I can't imagine having many kids and trying to do a recipe like that because I feel like I would go crazy. Um, so, yeah, that's that on HelloFresh. Um, I am at work, so uno momento, por favor. Okay, I just had to make sure I was at work alone. Um, my guys come in the back door like I always tell you, so I have to make sure there's nobody in here waiting for me. Um, oh, so I got an email. So Black Friday is already happening at Kohl's. And I don't shop on Black Friday. However, I do online shop. <laughs> um, and Kohl's is one of my favorite places to go. And you guys know there's specific shirts there that I love that I wear all the time. This being one of them, I don't know if you can see it. It's one of the um, Apartment 9 Essential like tees. This one is like a three quarter length sleeve so it goes down like mid arm. I have a jacket on obviously, you can't see. My glasses are fogging. Um, 
I always wear their t-shirts and I also like yesterday uh, the video wasn't very long but I had a long sleeve shirt on and they're like super duper soft I think you guys probably remember me telling you guys about these um, I'll do a little haul when I get this stuff but but oh and also I don't know if you can see I'm not trying to like flash y'all but these tanks they're like camis they don't have the built-in bra which I like because the built-in bra drives me nuts um, they're very long which I do like um, and they kind of I feel like they kind of hold things together <laughs> Um, those are on sale too already starting net like starting already um, online so the tanks are normally two for 20 on sale or they're like I think they're $11.99 regular price uh, they're $4.99 now so I got myself two black and two white I believe uh, and the t-shirts and the long sleeve shirts are both $7.99 on sale which is really good because the t-shirts are a little cheaper than the long sleeve shirts typically I think at least um, but the, uh, the long sleeve shirts, which I just bought a black one not too long ago as part of my Halloween costume, only because I knew I'd wear it, which is what I was wearing yesterday. Um, those were on sale for like $17.99, which I was like, hell no, but I had to buy it because I needed it. Um, so those are $7.99 now, which is super duper exciting. Um, so that's what I stocked up on last night. I think my total was like 66 bucks. And I actually got, now, right now they're doing for Black Friday a $15 cold cash. Um, so if you spend more than $50, you'll get $15 cold cash to use to a future purchase, um, and which I did. So I'm pretty excited about that. And of course, I'll show you guys when I get them. But these shirts are like the most comfortable, soft thing ever. And some of them, as you can see, some of them do have a print on them. But for the most part, they're solid colors, which I'm totally okay with because... My job is pretty casual, but I have to, I can't really wear a lot of, like, print on my shirt, like, advertisements or words and stuff, so, um, I like just wearing the comfortable, like, plain solid colors. That's usually what you'll find me on any typical day, a solid color shirt with some jeans. <laughs> I'm a very basic person. Um, but I wanted to share that with you because I was pretty excited about it. Um, I wanted to show you, this is the cup I got from Walmart the other day. It's super cute. It was, uh, like, five bucks. Um, with a lid and it works pretty well um, and yeah I think that's all for now if I do wind up eating anything I will absolutely show you but for now I will talk to you guys later all right guys here's my breakfast I have two scrambled eggs with one mini moo which is four points um, and then I have coffee here zero points for the coffee it is a French vanilla K cup I have two coffee mates uh, French vanillas, which is like two tablespoons, which I'll put the pointage here. Um, I have two mini moves, which is one point, and then I have one trivia. I'm trying to, the other day, as I told you guys, I had four creamers and it was seven points. So I'm trying to hopefully make this not so bad. So I'll put the total right here. Hey y'all, so I'm on lunch. I'm headed home to see my husband because he goes in before I get off, so I won't actually see him. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, a sheriff person. Oh, seriously, now they're coming up beside me. I'm afraid I'm gonna get pulled over because I don't have a front tag on my vehicle right now. Um, mine is very beat up from my accident, so I just don't wanna draw any attention to myself yet, you know? So, anyway. So yeah, anyway, I'm headed home for lunch to see Kevin. Um, I'm trying to think of something fun for Caden and I to do after I get off work tonight, since it's just gonna be the two of us. Um, I was thinking it would be fun to do some sort of little like Thanksgiving, like treat, like like him make a dessert or something. Like I see these cute things on um, Pinterest where you can like make nutty, nutty butter cookies into like turkeys and stuff oh you, oh goodness gracious using like um candy corn so I was looking at stuff like that um but yeah anyways um yeah I don't really know um I guess I will oh I wanted to share with you guys so 
I have not been able to work out because I really just don't know what to do at home. I've been trying to think, plus last week was not good with my period and everything. Um, but I really wanted to start working out, so I told you guys Daily Burn, at least I think I told you guys, I always like to record videos and not upload it, but Daily Burn, my subscription was like canceled basically. It was like a free trial I had and I definitely can't pay $15 a month for it, so I, um, I've been trying to figure out what I can do and I remember that uh, Jess did um, the 30 Day Shred with Jillian Michaels. I'm pretty sure I have that DVD, so I'm actually gonna look for it when I go home at lunch. Um, and I might start that. I don't know if I'll start it today. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Depends on what Caden and I decide to do. Um, but I forgot I had that, so that's exciting. Um, and then maybe before or after I do that, I can add in some sort of like a little bit of like weight or kettlebell uh, workout um, to kind of round things out. So that's my plan. But anyways, yeah, I will show you what I'm having for lunch when I get home. So I totally forgot that I have um, soup at work. I have the last bowl of my butternut squash soup at work. So I'm actually headed back to work and I'm gonna have that for lunch. Yeah, I got home and I'm like looking in the fridge and stuff, hold on. Yeah, I was at home looking in the fridge and stuff and I'm like all of a sudden it dawned on me. Girl, you took that soup to work yesterday. Um, so obviously I won't be at work tomorrow and I'm actually off on Friday because um, daycare is closed. So I need to eat that soup. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, I'm hoping to leave work early today, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But I'm going to try. I have so much to do right now. It's not even funny, but I'd rather not be there. <laughs> what better way to celebrate your one year work anniversary than by leaving? Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll show you the soup. Hey everyone, so I'm headed home. I actually got a IM like instant message from one of, one of uh, my boss's like helpers <laughs> at work telling me to go home at 3.30, so that's exciting. I normally get off at 4.30, um, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I haven't showed you my lunch because I didn't eat it, and in fact, I just realized it's still in the microwave at work. Yeah. That's just, like, that is my life. That is the job I am at right now. Like, it's just so freaking crazy. I don't even remember to eat lunch. Hey everyone, so sorry I cut you off when I was talking earlier in the car. Um, I got a phone call, so I had to take that. What is happening? I swear my house is completely silent five seconds ago. Lily! Holy crap. Hold on. Ugh, so, the dog is barking because, hold on. Because an Amazon order came, which if you guys don't know, is how I do all of my Christmas shopping. So it's probably for my son. So I have to keep it on the DL. <laughs> um, but yeah, I prefer shopping online than anything else. But anyways, um, yeah, I had a phone call earlier, so I don't even remember what I was saying, because that's just my life, but I totally forgot to eat my lunch. It's still in the microwave at work. <sighs> Toronto socks, which means I'm starving right now. So all I've had today was four points for coffee and four points for eggs. So I have all but like eight points to eat of my points. So I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner. My kid is having some chicken nuggets, I believe. Yeah, he's having these. These are, this is funny, these are um, whole grain chicken breast nuggets and they were actually cheaper than the like regular kind, which I thought was weird. But anyways, as soon as I figure out what I'm eating, I will show you guys. Okay, so here's what I came up for breakfast, came up for for dinner, not breakfast. So I have some asparagus here that I need to cook. So I just trimmed off all the ends. I'm gonna cut it in half again and I'm going to put it in this pot of water. 
And then I heated up the veggies I was telling you guys about from the HelloFresh meal. That's potatoes and broccoli. And then in the microwave, in the microwave I have um, some rice that I had cooked previously. Oh, my hair is kind of mess. Um, which is brown rice. And so I'm just going to heat that up and I'm just going to have a bunch of veggies with some rice. Um, I don't have any protein, which... I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll just have like an egg or something, but I think I'll be okay. Um, but I'm trying to be light since tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I, you know, I want to make sure I don't like sabotage myself tomorrow. Um, but if you're wondering, cause I want to, after I show you dinner, I'll probably wrap up the vlog. But my plan for tomorrow is to eat off a little plate. I might even take a plate with me, but I think my parents still have little plates. Um, like... So a plate like this size, like a child's plate. Um, I call it like a salad plate. Usually we, we've always used them as the kids plates, but like if you buy a set of plates, they usually give you a little salad plate. That's probably what I'll use. Um, of course I'm gonna have the most of like turkey and any veggies that are there, which I'm sure there'll be like green beans and stuff. Um, my dad's favorite is green beans, which is not my favorite, but that's okay. Um, and then just have like a little bit of everything else. And I'm not a huge pie person. My mom is making homemade apple pie and uh, pumpkin pie. I actually just talked to her and she's pureeing pumpkin right now. Um, what is on my window? Anyway, um, so I really am not a fan of either, not a, a pie person. So I don't think unless somebody else brings something else involving chocolate. I'm not really concerned about uh, that part of it really um and I'm gonna hope to do some sort of workout maybe this evening or tomorrow I'm not really sure um so yeah that is my plan for tomorrow um but yeah I will show you my dinner after this and then I'll probably wrap it up okay guys here's dinner I have a bunch of cherry tomatoes with some salt and pepper I have about a cup of the brown rice asparagus I have uh roasted baby potatoes I think there's like four or five of them they're like literally like this big I quartered them or, you know, and, uh, uh, yeah, roasted broccoli. So I'm out of space. So thank you all for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving.